No one could have predicted that JMW Turner would grow up to be recognised as one of the greatest painters of all time. He was the son of a barber in Covent Garden in central London. He's not someone who had a natural place in the London art world. Ambition that turned the underdog into an artistic giant. Turner used old masters as his reference. Canaletto's view of Venice in 1730, seen by Turner a century later. Or Nicolas Poussin's Winter or the Flood, painted in 1660, and Turner's own Flood in 1804. Although they are very much of their own worlds, the similarities are plain to see. Um, rather like Picasso in the way that Picasso has this tendency to look back and to see old master paintings and want to, to imitate them, but to go one stage better. Turner wanted to position himself a, alongside the great artists that he felt he could at least uh, measure himself against. On display at the Tate Britain are works by 30 other artists, including Rembrandt, Rubens, Titian and Veronese. And one who had perhaps the strongest influence on Turner, French painter Claude Lorrain. It's very significant that the terms of his will asked that two of his paintings, two of Turner's own paintings, be hung in the National Gallery alongside paintings by Claude. Because Turner knew that uh, it was by being compared to that greatest master of the past greatest master of landscape painting, that he would be remembered in the future, that he would ensure that he has a place in art history. And now in his own right, Turner is a master of the past, the genius of romanticism, a precursor of impressionism. The painter of light, as he was called, is still a reference for British art today. The Turner Prize, one of the world's most prestigious, is named in his honour.